I have something new to try and it's called Palmini. These are hearts of palm and they are in lasagna sheets. I found this above my pasta section at the grocery store on the top shelf. I thought, should I could give it a try, make some um, lasagna that doesn't have any pasta and see how it turns out. So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe below. All right, these are the amazing Palmini Hearts of Palm lasagna sheets. Now they just cut the Hearts of Palm lengthwise. It's not like they grind it up and press it and make it into these, these um, shapes. So you're gonna put your sauce down so that nothing sticks to the bottom and then you're gonna put a layer of your Palmini faux noodles on the bottom of your pan. I made a small lasagna. One can was for a six by six dish that I'm using. Then I'm going to put my uh, summer squash down. Why? Because I had summer squash. I also had spinach in the fridge, so I steamed that up and I'm going to put some of that in here. Then the next thing is kind of optional. Um, I love red pepper. These were in a jar and um, already peeled for you, so I'm deciding to put those in. But they're a strong flavor. If you want to keep them out, leave them out. And then of course a layer of mozzarella cheese and then a little more sauce down and then you're going to just keep doing this layering until you get three layers that's what will work for you'll have enough in the six by six with one can i did however add a little cream cheese because i did not have any ricotta or cottage cheese adds a little creaminess not necessary on that top layer you're going to end it with your faux pasta and then a delicious layer of the sauce of your choice and more cheese as much cheese as you would like i baked it at 375 for 20 minutes with a lid on then i took the lid off and i baked it at 350 for 15 minutes this turned out absolutely spectacular i would definitely do this again I'm going to put a link for you guys in the bottom in the description where you guys can buy these Palmini noodles and many other varieties on Amazon. So check that out. Okay, look at this. Does that look beautiful? Now come into it because the Palmini did not um, get mushy like a noodle would. You have to use a serrated knife to cut. Helps you out a little bit. And oh my gosh, look at that. Ooh la la. It's so beautiful. I'm going to show you a second time. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. Why would you not want to serve that to your friends and family? I cannot wait to give this a try. That is so good. The Palmini definitely has a different texture than a noodle you know how a noodle can get mushy um not necessarily all the time in a lasagna but this has a little more texture to it i really like it it is absolutely fantastic i love that it looks like um a noodle you know like other times you slice a zucchini lengthwise and use that but that looks like zucchini this looks like a noodle, so I think that adds to why I would do this again. Thank you so much for watching Kathy Cooks for You. Please subscribe below. I would love to hear from you with a thumbs up and a question or a comment. And let me know if there's anything you would like me to make that you're a little afraid at the grocery store to buy and that you'd like to see it made. And also, the song on this video was composed especially for me by my son, and I would love for you to listen to his whole EP on Spotify. So click the link below and have a great day.